Hello, this is Tofan Tri for Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you an add-on called the City Builder. And it's an add-on that's kind of different from all the other add-ons. It doesn't like generate uh, cities or anything like that. It actually just appends uh, cities into your scene fairly easily. And I'll leave a link uh, for the add-on so you can download it. It'll be below this uh, video. But the process is still the same. Once you've downloaded it, just go to Blender. I'm using Blender 2.82. And I think they've updated it to be used in Blender 3.0 and above. But this is for 2.82. It's still the same process because it's just, you know, assets for Blender. So you go to Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate to where you've installed it on your system, on your computer. Actually, click on Install that on. And uh, there are several packs. I've been able to acquire, I think about six of them or eight. Uh, but once you've done that, you just put a check in the box. Uh, there's the city built for derelict, future, Hong Kong, industrial, medieval, metro, procedural, and Soviet. And we'll just go through a few of them so you can see what they look like. Once again, they're just automatically appended into Blender. So there's no setup for it or anything like that. You just click on what you want to import into your scene. And that's pretty much it. And once you put that check mark in the box, it's ready to go. Let's delete this square here. Leave it on a keyboard. And it'll be in our toolbar over here. And you'll see City. I'll let me minimize all of these so you can see they all are expanded out. Uh, but I'll minimize them so you can see, you know, what is available. And in each of these packs, there's the Metro Small, the Small Series, Medium, and then there's the Large. Now I'm going to just stick with this first pack because they're all pretty much the same process for importing them into uh, the user interface. Uh, let's click on, let me see, let me go with the Metro Medium. Just left click. And it automatically generates a building for you. And the cool thing about this pack of buildings and assets, it's mostly buildings, is they come already textured, which is helpful if you don't want to get into texturing the building. And it also works in Eevee and works in Cycles, but we're going to stick with Eevee for the sake of this tutorial. That way it doesn't lag the tutorial or lag the software for the uh, recording. And I'm going to change my viewport so you can see what it looks like at Eevee. Left click on that, give it a little bit of time to process. Excuse me, hopefully it won't take too long. There it is. That was pretty fast. But yeah, here it is. I'm going to add a sky texture to this. So I'm going to get a better view of how this actually looks. That's not going to take long at all. Just I've already done a tutorial on this. Create nodes. Yeah, and there you go. And that's our building. And you can see that the windows are already reflective, which is also helpful. And the cool thing also about these uh, assets with these packs is that they come with texture slots, so already te having texture slots built into them. If you go down to your textures or material properties, left click on that, you can see that all they all have texture slots for different parts of the building. So if you want to change the way your building looks, it's not a big deal. Uh, for example, let's change out the brick here. I want to change, change it to a different type of brick. Left click a medium building brick there. Left click and drag in that corner. Change this uh, window to shader editor. And here's the note setup for the brick. Uh, it's freezing up. Okay, there we go. Now, if I don't want to use this texture for the brick, I can pick another texture. I'm going to scroll up on my mouse wheel so I can zoom in on the brick here. And these bricks already come fully textured with uh, bot maps, uh, which is also quite nice. And if you change the texture, it also automatically it affects the bump too, which is also helpful with how that works. So we're going to change the, the uh, texture of the brick. I click on that X, click on open. I'm going to now get to where I've saved textures on my computer. And let's say you want to just change it to this brick here. Left click on that, open image, and there you go. And you can see that the bump map is already 
applied to this new texture that we've just added to the building. You can do that with all the textures of all the uh, assets, building assets, and the city builder, which is phenomenal, which is great. Not only that, let's change our viewport here. We're going to go into edit mode. I want you guys to see how clean this building is. And that's how all the buildings are. That's how all the buildings look. You want to have good geometry with all the models in your scene for better, you know, better rendering in Blender. So we're going to go back to the uh, different viewport shading and click tab on our keyboard and just look at how well this building model is built. There, there are no like crazy looking verti vertices crossing over each other, no crazy intersections. It's just all clean models. And this is how all the models for the assets look. All of, all of them look like this, or just clean. So yeah, you can now also, I guess, edit uh, the buildings in edit mode. But just be careful with that because of the fact that all these buildings are UV unwrapped. And because you've unwrapped, if you try to delete the vertices or change them in terms of adding vertices to the buildings, which there's really no need to do that, it can affect the textures uh, pretty bad. So just I would I wouldn't even try to edit it. I'm just trying to show you guys how clean this looks. And all the models look like this. Let's I'm just going to go into another model because all the uh, the packs here they have a theme. This is for a metropolitan buildings like modern day building of skyscrapers, so on and so forth. Uh, you have derelict future assets, fut uh, derelict that future assets, yeah, and sci-fi future assets, Hong Kong assets. With this one, I'm thinking it works with the newer version of Blender because I've tried to use Hong Kong assets here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I think this is more for a newer version of Blender, but it still kind of works in here. You have, you have industri industrial assets, like I'm having a tongue twister here. Let's delete the uh, this building and import another building just for the sake of just seeing what they all have to offer. Just one more building. And we're going to go to the industrial assets and click on factory office. And then there you go. It's very, very fast, very efficient. Doesn't waste any time in terms of loading. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. So this is a very, very nice, simple, direct add-on for Blender. So you can easily build cities with this and it's it doesn't it's not too heavy when it comes to processing and rendering all these buildings out because as I've shown you in edit mode going to edit mode again these buildings are quite clean they're really 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 clean well well designed well made so yeah that's the introduction to the city builder in blender and I'm hoping that uh, those of you who have watched the video hopefully this is helpful for you and I think you guys who have subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who are subscribing in the future, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.